New gun day. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today I have a new firearm to the channel. This is the Ruger Security 380. This is a compact sized version of the Ruger Security 9 chambered in 380. Ruger released this in December of 2022 and this is actually the first one that I have seen in a store anywhere. I actually traded my Springfield 911 for this at the local gun store. I carried that 911 for I think almost four years now and it was a good gun I did enjoy it but this had some extra features on it that I really liked uh, this features Ruger's light rack slide and you can see very very easy to rack and manipulate this this came with two 15 round magazines so extended grip it is a little bigger than the 911 which for my hands it's very comfortable uh, very nice size with those extended magazines it's perfect it has the tritium sights just like the 911 did and uh, this features the same uh, the safety in the same location this safety is a lot stiffer I found when I was carrying that Springfield 911 that I was constantly moving that safety either on or off while it was in my holster did not like that at all I also found this does not have a hammer this is a striker fired pistol the 911 had a hammer and with that safety constantly moving I did not ever want to carry with the hammer back so if I was trying to thumb and use it in a training for a self-defense situation trying to grab that hammer I did not like that so that ultimately led to me making the decision to pick this up I have not shot this yet so I'm excited to bring you guys out to the range today and put this to the test so let's head out there and we'll get started. First rounds through the new Ruger Security 380. We're just gonna start five yards back. I'm gonna put 15 rounds through it. We're using Ammo Inc. 100 grain TMC. is the softest shooting 380 I've ever I mean for the size you could imagine that but that is the softest shooting 380 I've ever shot it is amazing that is fantastic thrilled with this I'll show you the target too it's not bad for grouping Here's our target from five yards. I noticed initially we were trending kind of high right up here, but um, I was aimed definitely right here. That was an absolute for sure I was aimed right there. First few shots were kind of this high and right. I had a couple of flyers up here. This was later on the target actually fell down. I restapled it. A um, couple of flyers out here, but for the most part that group tightened right in and actually performed very well if i really slowed down obviously i mag dumped that second round but if i really slowed down i have no doubt that we'd be all right inside here and the more it breaks in the more rounds we put through it it's only going to get better so what are my initial thoughts of the ruger 380 security i'm thrilled with it honestly it fits wonderfully in the hand the grips are very comfortable the sight picture is very easy to pick up 
and being a, uh, a larger sized gun rather than a micro compact, the recoil is almost non-existent. It is very, very comfortable and very easy to get follow-up shots. The first few rounds were high and right and they were definitely trending that way, but after a few shots it settled right in. You saw the group that it did pretty well there towards the center. And then in the mag dump, I'm not counting any of those for accuracy. We had some flyers there, plus the target itself actually fell down while I was shooting. But uh, those first 15 rounds placed actually very well after the first couple that flew out. The, uh, the gun, I think, absolutely worth the trade, absolutely worth the money. Uh, I'd read some reviews that said that people were experiencing failure to feed with it. Some of it was attributed to magazines, some to the feed ramp, some to the ammunition. Um, with this 100 grain full metal ball jacket um, it handled and fed perfectly it cycled without a problem i didn't have any issues in these first first two magazines but uh, we'll put it to the test a lot more and i'll bring you guys along for that ride i hope you enjoyed this i know it was a quick video but if you did reach down give it a like leave a comment let me know what you thought and make sure you're following the channel here somewhere around 97 percent of my viewers are not subscribed so I'd greatly appreciate it if you just took a second, reach down and hit that. And it should be popping up here in the corner of the screen as well too to make it even easier for you to click that subscribe button. Uh, if it doesn't, again, it's just a little bit down below the video here. Be sure to check out Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram as well. Links for those are down in the description below. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time here on the Idaho Rifleman.